All right, back to suspension. Uh, some help here. So, T-Man, this is a response video for years. Now, the steering itself, for your steering um, and for how you, the motion is for your vehicle, the way to figure out a steering placement is this needs to be mounted out farther on yours, farther out. But it doesn't matter where if it's here or if it sticks out even farther, okay? The whole point is that this steering point from right here to the very end, in between the motion that goes up and down between both arms, there is a general sweet spot that will make it so your steering will stay completely straight as it goes through the entire motion. Now, a lot of people have a hard time with this. Now, the general rule of thumb, and this is only a suggestion, don't take this for 100%, but it's all, you know, trial and error. This point to the bottom and in between the top, you know, with those two motions of those two bars, they're both unequal. That bottom bar is one inch longer than this one. So with my spindles, the way that it's set and it kicks in, the motion that goes up and down, the wheel will stay completely straight until you add onto the steering bracket. That steering bar, out of seven inches of travel that I have, that's perfect dead on steering. When it goes all the way up, it does go out a little bit, but generally speaking, the tires still just stay the same, and you can see where it's kicked out just a little tiny bit, but it's only the one last inch of travel that you have. When you have this far suspension, yeah, you're going to get that with that much range of motion, okay? This is actually all the way up, but generally speaking, there is an arc that goes between here. It doesn't matter if it's higher or lower, and the other thing that you want to consider while you're doing this is also the distance from this bar in, okay? The farther out the steering is on the spindle itself, the less steering motion you're gonna get going this way and this way, okay? Regardless of what point of the travel where it's at. No matter what, that distance is gonna make a big difference. So, also, when you have your unequal bars that are mounted like this, okay, on your frame, and then you have your spindle that goes straight up and down, what's gonna happen is that when you lift it up, the racing aspiration is gonna show that it goes back and forth, that little uh, diagram where it has like the little uh, bars that go back and forth that you can play with to show mounting points and suspension. So once you take from Peter, Paul over here is pretty pissed off and Mary doesn't know what the hell to do with herself. So there is a lot of things that go on with suspension, but hopefully that explains it. It doesn't necessarily need to be higher. Mine are actually placed in between on both sides where you can see where it's got a general arc back and forth. So general arc. When it comes to your steering rack, my rack is only 10 inches long. I have a two inch spacer on this side, okay? That makes this point come out farther. To make it match on the other side, right here, okay? If you see, I actually have like a 10 inch bar on here with a bracket holder. That way this bar doesn't go back and forth because that will actually induce more bump steer itself. There's the bracket right there. It's a piece of pipe with welded onto a piece of cut metal. But also, it's really hard to see, but my steering rack is also not mounted center, okay? It's actually mounted closer to this side. That doesn't matter because this being two inches, that being 10, either way, I can't do it because my motor right there is in the way and my steering rack has to come really far down, down this little pipe right here, shoot down and shoot back up because my motor is in the front. So it doesn't matter where the rack is at as long as this end comes to a certain point out here in between these two bars. So, and see the distance? I wish it was farther back, that way I could get better steering. But I guess I'll have to steer with my throttle foot. So, well, whatever. So hopefully this answers a couple questions. If you have more questions, let me know, because that's what I'm here for.